Good morning. It's Saturday the 17th of September and it's 7.30. Now today's video is all about urbex or urbex is short for urban exploration. Now I'm heading off into town. I'm going to spend an hour this morning walking around the centre of town looking at architecture and art for the most part. We have some interesting buildings in town, old and new, and also some photogenic and some not so photogenic. And also we have some interesting art, both in terms of wall paintings and sculptures. So that's the start for today. Thank you. Just turned out of Main Street and heading down an alley to my old gym and just took a photograph of this rather impressive mural on the wall of the gym. Further down the alley there's a smaller mural of a juggler and this guy's real. He's a guy who uh, juggles around town for money uh, and this is testimony to him. It's quite an interesting character, very quiet. Further on down Broadway, which is where I've just turned into Broadway now, and I'm. this is our famous theatre, uh, the Regent Theatre in Broadway, and it's beautiful, beautiful external architecture as well as internal. It's been recently renovated to very high standard and we're very proud of it and this is just one of the other buildings alongside it the commerce building i was quite taken by the plaster and brick texture in the upper stories of the building itself now heading down a lane um, i just can't remember the name of it but the cell track pub is down that lane and along with another uh, <coughs> a number of other bars and just arrived at new Col. Now Yukol is made up of some old and new buildings and the older buildings are quite interesting including this green painted one um, which is quite an interesting building. Go down a little bit further and get to the old tech buildings, this brick building out to my right and I find that quite an attractive building to take photographs of. It's a shame the cloud had disappeared through the early part of the morning and uh, we had pretty morning skies this particular day but it's easy for me to do it again. Now this is the main part of the Yukon campus which is a combination old and new. Uh, there's a very big glass, um, how should I say, general area for people where they can gather and meet each other which runs all the way through it's quite a unique uh, campus. It's originally based on a technical institute that it now offers degrees for things like nursing, photography, um, in fact, in virtually everything. This is the car park, and I'm always particularly taken by this mural down the end of the car park, um, and the fact that there's always this puddle sitting there, and it's quite interesting to get different reflections on it. So further down, this is Queen Street and heading towards the Crombie Lockwood building, which is one of the tallest buildings in town. It'll show you the other tall building shortly. Um, and this is the Crombie Lockwood building. Lots of windows in these buildings, lots of reflective surfaces. Uh, quite interesting from that point of view. The street was done up two or three years ago. Uh, this pattern in the street was uh, done by the contractor and it's quite impressive. The grass areas are actually artificial turf, but it's quite interesting the way that they've designed that. And again, another shot of the Colombia Lockwood building. Just walking up now to Rangitiki Street and Rangitiki Street and Fitzherbert Street are the two streets that dissect Palmerston the North, East and West um, and that's where the small building 
which is one of our major retailers in town. This is an old building here that has been recently done up with a pretty spectacular red paint job, which attracted my eye. It's always been difficult to tenant this particular building, so I'm just wondering if the paint job will do the trick and make it easier to tenant. To tenant. Now heading down beside Dribble Sports in another little lane uh, beside the Crombie Lockham building to out over to the right and down a lane with some more um, graffiti, uh, deliberately uh, constructed graffiti so that people can uh, avoid graffiti. As you can see there's been a bit of extra work done on that one. I was quite taken by this black car it parked in front of the black building and parked essentially in front of the building. Um, it is within a car park though. Now heading towards Cube Street, Cube Street and George Street, which is the street running perpendicular to Cube Street, uh, the part of the entertaining hub on the west side of the square, on the west side of the square. The Crank It Bike Shop is a place that I go. I think it's quite interesting from a various perspective. This is Cafe Cuba, and this is a recent, relatively recent addition is Focal Point Cinema. We have a complex with, I think it's nine cinemas in the middle of town, and Focal Point has come out from outside, set up uh, a little bit further out of the centre, but because they combine a cafe and um, the movies, they're quite popular. Common Mall, which is just off the edge of the square. This is part of a wee bit of the art that we have um, in round the square. Still haven't quite worked out what it is, but I do like to photograph it. A bit messy this particular day with all the scaffold, and also the, the ground was a bit mossy and untidy. This is our library on the square, built with facades from the old retail shops which originally fronted onto the square. The library is a relatively modern, modern building, well around about 20 odd years old, probably, probably actually nearly 30, but <coughs> a modern building with uh, older facades. just in around the square at the moment and I decided to circle back took another photo of the facade for the, for the library and heading down towards the city council building uh, this is one of those sort of 1970s 1960s uh, tilt slab concrete buildings. Not really what I'd describe as beautiful, but they do have unique architectural um, characteristics in a, in a reasonably clumsy sort of a way. This is Main Street again on the opposite side of the square where I went into before. The back of the library, which is over the top of it, in the George Street area and turning and here's the convention centre out the back of the council building. It has got some quite interesting um, 1960s, 1970s architecture along with the, the concrete grand, uh, landscaping. So heading now towards Church Street which is called Church Street for obvious reasons. There's a couple of churches on it and the first one is I think it's All Saints. And this is a recently, this building has had a bit of a cloud hanging over it because it is fully brick built without reinforcing and requires earthquake strengthening. The recent news is that there's a project um, have been approved to to strengthen it and bring it back up to code and 
the only question now is what's it going to cost and who's going to pay for it. The Square Edge is a centre for artists in the city and it's quite an interesting building from the point of view of its colours. Now I enjoy the square itself and part of one of the features of the square is the clock tower. This particular pond usually has the fountains going and doesn't have nice reflections and on this particular day the fountains weren't going and it had some pretty nice reflections albeit the water is pretty scungy and full of, uh, full of pond scunge. Now here I just took this photo of what was the old FMG building and it's quite a, a prominent building on the square being a glass facade it reflects the sun and I thought that that was quite an impressive little uh, photograph to be fair. I had another go, that one wasn't as good. Another photo of the clock tower. At night, the around the bottom of the clock tower is lit up in different colours, and the top has, I don't know whether it changes, but it's certainly coloured up the top. Turning around and walking up to the Fitzherbert inter intersection again another photograph of the old FMG building FMG is actually down at the very end of that stretch um, in a new building and that's looking straight down Fitzherbert Ave which goes straight out towards Massey University and heading down Church Street again heading towards plaza and the last image is my first uh, panorama with my new camera and I'm actually quite proud of it and pleased with the way it went. If you're new to the channel uh, please consider subscribing. If you've enjoyed the content please like the content. If you want to give me some feedback please do so by putting a comment in the comment section on the YouTube page. Thank you very much.